Hi everybody, happy new year to you all. I hope you've all been staying healthy and happy over the, the holiday season. I really wanted to get back into doing videos and actually getting out and imaging this year because last year was a complete fail for me. But anyway, I've got a short video today and it's mainly to help beginners. So some of you may already know about this and I can only apologise if you're thinking oh why the heck is she telling me this? This is mainly to benefit those people that maybe aren't so technical but really want to get into astrophotography. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the bell. So one of the best pieces of kit that I've got in my whole Astro, Astro Tool kit is a digital caliper. These were 4 dollars off Amazon and previous to that I was using a tape measure to measure my distances between things and wondering why all my star shapes were all completely out of whack. As soon as I got myself one of these I could then measure my distances accurately. Um, when I talk about distances, often if you use a field flattener or reducer you need to be a certain distance from the flange here to the sensor on your camera. So for this flattener and reducer the distance is I need to be 55mm from here to the sensor in my camera. In the Altair Hypercam range the Protec range, the sensor that lies 17.5mm back from this flange here. Having a caliper such as this allows me to measure distances and thicknesses accurately. So for example here I've got a 7.5mm space and can you see that little gold ring? That's actually an extra shim that I've got and that's a one mil shim and I've also got a red one as well which is half a mil so when I add that to my filter wheel so I have my reduced flattener my shim, one of my shims, my 29.5mm filter wheel, and my other shim, my 1mm shim, and my 7.5mm spacer that allows me to get to the required 55mm. Not just that, but the opposite side, you can measure sort of internal dimensions rather than external on this side and it's also got a depth gauge as well. If you're finding that you can't measure your distances accurately or you can't quite get there I highly recommend getting a digital caliper. So that was one of my tips for astrophotography, really short video but I thought I'd share that you should probably get one of these if you haven't got one already and I'll put the link to these ones that I bought down below. Thanks for watching!